Texas Governor Greg Abbott defies the Supreme Court's order. That's right. The U.S. military gets a shocking report after they have the lowest number of active duty enrollment in over 80 years. I'll give you the details on that. Also, millions of Americans on Social Security could get a surprise bill this year. Give you all the details of that in this video and more. Let's jump right in. Thank you so much for liking these videos. And if you haven't yet, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. Here we go. The Biden administration is not happy after Texas Governor Greg Abbott is defying the Supreme Court's order to let them take down massive barbed wire that actually cost Texas over $10 million to install. Take a listen here. Well, the state is still installing razor wire at the southern border, despite a court order saying federal border agents can just cut it down. Fox 4's Dan Godwin here with more on this escalating power struggle between the state and the federal government. Dan? And Lauren, Governor Abbott is apparently not overly impressed with the Supreme Court ruling that came down this week. His response has been to put up more razor wire at the border. New video from yesterday shows the Texas Military Department doing just that, beefing up razor wire installations in Eagle Pass along the border southwest of San Antonio. And yet, on Monday, the U.S. Supreme Court, in a 5-4 to four ruling, vacated a lower court decision and gave federal agents the green light to cut and remove the razor wire. The federal government argued its agents need access to patrol the border and help migrants in need, but the state says the wire is essential to security and will discourage risky crossings that happen away from legal entry points. On Tuesday, the White House was asked about the next steps in this dispute. How quickly uh, does the administration intend to remove all the razor wire that has been set up? So I don't have the, the specifics on the, what the border security is going to do and how they're going to do it. Look, we are uh, certainly glad that the Supreme Court uh, made the decision to, to uh, uh, vacate the injunction that prevented border security to actually do their jobs, to just laws, uh, and it got in the way. Governor Abbott, of course, sees things differently. On Wednesday, he issued a statement saying the U.S. Constitution allows the state to defend itself, writing that authority is the supreme law of the land and supersedes any federal statutes to the contrary. Tuesday's ruling from the nation's highest court is not the final say on the matter. There's still no decision on the larger lawsuit on the razor wire issue. The Fifth Circuit Court in New Orleans is set to hear arguments on that dispute on February 7th. So Texas is still installing razor wire, and that's serious razor wire. That's You see there's rows and rows of it. I don't know if people can get through there. Uh, and it's basically set to make them funnel to the access points where guards are, and this captures them and makes it so they can't uh, sneak through and uh, makes it so they, they have to be processed and all that stuff. Again, let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole process there. The United States is starting to step up more and more things now here. United Kingdom and the United States sanctioning senior Houthis over Red Sea shipping attacks. If you didn't see my previous video. We're kind of at war over there uh, with attacks happening between the U.S., the Houthis, Iranian-backed militaries. I'll link you to that video here at the end of this. You kind of have to wonder, is the U.S. actually at war without actually announcing it? Because they're attacking and attacking back here. Um, we also have a new report here that shows the U.S. military is, quote, weak and in danger of not being able to defend national interests, according to studies. This comes as 2024 starts with the U.S. military with the lowest enrollment in the last 80 years for the amount of people enrolled in the U.S. military. An NSC spokesperson took issue with the study, saying, quote, U.S has the most powerful military in the world, but 
For the second consecutive year, a study has ranked the U.S. military as, quote, weak compared to U.S. militaries of the past and has warned that a lack of action could leave the armed forces incapable of defending vital American interests. The current U.S. military force is at significant risk of being able to unable to meet the demands of a single major regional conflict while also attending to various presence and engagement activities, reads the conclusion of the Heritage Foundation's 10th Annual Index of Military Strength, which was released on Wednesday. The report paints a dire picture of the state of the U.S. military, with its current posture being rated as weak by the index for the second consecutive year, calling into question America's ability to meet security obligation and protect vital national interests for the U.S. and around the globe. This was a 664-page report addressing a wide range of issues. So this wasn't just an off-the-cuff statement. This was a very detailed report. Finally, that almost no branch of the U.S. military is ready to face a major conflict. Those issues are most pronounced in the Air Force, which the index rated as very weak in 2023. Also, if you're one of the many millions of Americans on Social Security retirement, you could be hit with a surprise tax bill this year. Record high Social Security increases in 2023 could create a tax nightmare this year. That's right. And this has actually been happening to people for previous years as well. The record high Social Security payments increase in 2023 could bring along an unwelcome side effect for retired Americans still grappling with the sting of inflation, and that is higher taxes. And yes, if you make enough money, you do have to pay taxes on Social Security. A lot of people don't know this. There's also several states that have state income tax on Social Security as well. Although Social Security recipients receive a cost of living adjustment known as COLA that is indexed to inflation, the amount of benefits exempted from taxes has main, remained unchanged for decades. Since 1984, retirees have owed taxes on their benefits if their adjusted gross income, including up to 85% of their Social Security payments, is more than $25,000 if they're single or $32,000 if they are a married couple. So you can read that here on the screen, okay? So go over this here again. Retirees have owed taxes on their benefits if their adjusted gross income, including up to 85% of their Social Security payments, is more than $25,000, which is not that much nowadays, if they are single or $32,000 if they are a married couple. And remember, because of cost of living adjustments, people are making more and more Social Security money every year. Individuals earning more than $34,000 and couples earning more than $44,000 can be taxed on up to 85% of their benefits. Now, experts say the ongoing inflation crisis could ultimately ultimately push more seniors into higher tax brackets as a result of last year's 8.7 8.7 COLA percent increase. Remember, that was last year's. Now for 2024, there's going to be an additional 3.2% increase. Last year's was 8.7%. The previous year, it increased the average monthly benefit by about $140. More than 66 million Americans received Social Security benefits last year. During the 2023 tax season, previous year, 23% of retirees who received Social Security for three years or more said they paid tax for the first time, according to the Senior Citizens League. And that number is going to keep going up 
and up and up as more and more people hit the threshold. And with that 8.7% raise from the previous year, it's going to be a lot more. And now with the new 3.2% raise, it's going to be more. And as each year goes by, there's going to be more and more people that hit that threshold and now have to pay taxes on their Social Security earnings. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date on more and more money information and tips and details like this. So make sure to like this video, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more videos that come out here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Share this video with anybody that needs to hear this information. Click here to see the attacks that the U.S. is conducting right now. Or click here to see a highly contagious disease that is spreading right now in the U.S. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.